Hello, today we're in Agua, Massachusetts, in the Feeding Hills neighborhood of that uh, city. And we're in a cemetery called Springfield Street Cemetery. And we stopped in the back left portion of the cemetery and the section where it's called the Potter's Field. Now, most Potter's Field will have both a baby section and an adult section. And we're looking at the child section right here. Most of these children would have died extremely young. And since the parents couldn't afford a full deed to any of the lots out here, they would have allowed them to be buried in a baby section. You see how close these two stones are. And then how can this curve around? Back there. So these are baby plats, and the baby plats are very close together, which means that they're baby are newborn children. And if there was a bigger child, they'd mark it down. But I'm counting about maybe a maybe a dozen. There's 12 to maybe 13 that I see, and yet this whole plot would probably hold about 200 children. So the parents weren't able to afford their tombstone or they're gone sometimes. Now towards the front there would be adult burials so the whole potter's field is here and you see how it's kind of empty and then towards the front even more is individual stones where it was the lower cost. And then towards the back it's also very empty and there's one suspicious stone back there to the left of the tree that's back there and I'm going to get a picture for that and research it to see what's up there. Something unusual might have happened, and we'll find that out. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do, remember there's two stops inside the cemetery. One, we drove around. The other one is we stopped here, but I'm gonna take the, the camera around so you can see other stones around the area, and plus, I'm gonna give you a panoramic, okay? Okay, you can see very many sections out here. Lots of marble, uh, gray stones, no brown stones, except in a couple of obelisks. And so this cemetery, I really believe the 1842 uh, date I'm coming up with is correct, not the 1815 date. If it was 1815, you'd see more tablet style brown stones. Right, and plus you get, went into the area of, this is a Sears Robux, uh, family gravestone for the Wilcox, Henry Wilcox, and the many members of the family with individual stones along the side of it. it those stones would have faced, um, they, would, they would are facing the correct direction. They're facing um, all in a row and they bought the deed to the, this land all in a horizontal direction. Okay, and they all face with inscription towards the west, which is correct, right? And you see modern stones mixed together with some very old ones. You see a zinc stone up here of the Steer family, all right? So it's a very nice cemetery. There is a maintenance area towards the back and a child area we just looked at. So what I'm gonna do is give you a, a panoramic of this cemetery. Okay, so as you see, it's, it's a very nice, here's the Huntley family with all its individual stones off to its side. They built, they made it a big plot for themselves. So it's a well-organized and well-maintained cemetery, and thank you for coming here.